What inspired Warwick Tactics to collaborate with Bela Casa in Nepal? How will the collaboration benefit two of you and your Nepali customers? Yeah, excellent, great question. So uh, we started working with Bella Casa over the last couple of years. We've executed a few projects here already. Okay. Uh, so uh, we wanted to strengthen the relationship. And so we met in Singapore uh, in September last year. We had our okay. first meeting face to face. And you know, Warwick's a family company. We've been, we've been going now for over uh, 50, we're 58 years. And so we have a lot of long-term partners. And when we met the first time, uh, we've got a really strong, close connection. So, uh, um, so that was the, the, the inspiration behind partnering with Bella Castle for Nepal. We believe in having exclusive distributors for each marketplace. So we're very comfortable that uh, Bella Castle can represent Warwick in the Nepal market. Uh, and, uh, and that we can bring them some, some wonderful quality products uh, from an international perspective uh, for, the, for, the, for the market here in Nepal. And what about Nepali customers? How will they benefit from your collaboration? Uh, well, we offer a lot of, uh, we, we offer a great quality of product. Okay. So uh, our product is really highly specified, highly engineered. Uh, we offer a three-year guarantee, quality guarantee on all our products. Oh, nice. So I think the, the Nepalese customers have a great sense of taste, yes. have a great, a great sense of style. So we want to bring uh, some real quality products here that will last. Um, you know, I look around, when I land in a country, I, I look at the airport, I look at the quality of the planes that are at the airport. Uh, I saw that when I arrived in here. I look at the quality of the hotels as I travel around. You know, I see some wonderful international trains here. Yes. So I can really tell already that the Nepalese people are after a, a quality product. So I think this collaboration will, um, you know, will really enhance the, the, the textile scene here in, uh, in, in Nepal. Please tell us about the USP of your product. Yeah, great question. So oh. we're, in, we're, in, we're an Australian company. Uh, and we do offer a three-year guarantee. So we, we have to make sure that our product really stands up. So we really, we test our products extensively before we release it to the marketplace. So we offer really uh, commercial grade products. So product that's going to last, um, uh, high rub tests, uh, inherent stain resistance, FR, all the things that are required for commercial projects. Um, but does that mean that it can't be used in residential? Absolutely not. So we're giving a really highly specified product but with beautiful soft touch and handle and feel that people will want in their own home. So, you know, so we, yes, we, we have commercial ranges, but we, we're very well known and very popular in the residential market. What products of Warwick Fabrics will Nepal consumer get to avail? And how will you ensure that the products are, are of same quality and reputation as in other international market? Another great question. Um, we, we're really well known for our upholstery ranges. That's how we, the business started. Uh, and so we're very famous for that. But we've grown over the last 20 years to have a lot of high quality uh, drapery products. So we're talking uh, double width shears, 100% blackout. So it's that kind of uh, products that the Nepalese market will, will experience in Warwick. We also have a really high, high um, a real collection of hospital grade products, which are antimicrobial, uh, health guard, bleach cleanable. So we do a lot of hospital work as well. It's, it's a very, it's a specific market, um, but uh, yeah, we have a lot of uh, different elements. In regards to the quality, uh, we, our quality, we're very stringent in the quality control. So we have our own quality control department in Australia. Okay. So that's where our main stock holding is. And that, so every, every product that's coming through into Nepal is being quality controlled and tested and inspected in our Australian head office. So the same quality that's being supplied to uh, Japan, that's being okay. supplied to Thailand, to Dubai, to the UK, the same quality that's being supplied all over the world is what is being supplied here in Nepal. Your main factory is situated in Melbourne and you're just producing over there? So, so our, our, main, our main stock holding is in Melbourne. We're a worldwide producer of fabrics. We produce at some of the finest mills around the world. Okay. But our main stock holding being an Australian company is in Australia. Yeah. So uh, that, that's where our quality control and that's where our testing and that's where our design uh, and, and all the aspects of building the products is, originates in Melbourne. Okay. What unique challenges and opportunity do you see in Nepal compared to other regions you are currently operating? I think one of the unique challenges is, is, probably, is probably logistics. Uh, being that uh, you know you're a land, Nepal is a landlocked um, yes. country, and and sea freight is an economical way of moving uh, product around the world. At the end of the day, Warwick's in the logistic business. We're about moving the fabric yes. from our stock holding source to uh, to the end consumer, and so doing that efficiently is is is, is important. Um, so it's it's a unique challenge I see as tourism 
uh, grows in Nepal. Yes. More flights, more planes. It does bring the cost of freight down. Yes. Uh, and so logistics is an important is, is a challenge. Um, but we also have a, a large stock holding in India. So we have our own warehouse in India for the for the, the region. Uh, so we have the ability to also draw stock from India as required. And what about the opportunities? The opportunities, I think, as Nepal continues to grow, uh, and, and tourism, I see, is a big, big aspect behind that. I mean, as I'm, I'm planning on coming back and trekking here next year uh, for my 50th birthday. Uh, but as, as the, the, the tourism, especially after COVID, people are you know, focusing more on eco-tourism and kind of trekking, uh, that's going to bring um, you know, more planes. It's going to bring yes. more international standard hotels. It's going to bring a more of an international feel to Nepal. So I see that as an opportunity as Warwick is an international brand uh, that, uh, that people will, will associate you know, Warwick with quality and, and uh, you know, be involved in, in the projects that are here in Nepal moving forward. To remind you one thing, Nepal is also having a direct flight with Australia soon. Nepal Airlines will connect directly to Sydney from here. Is that right? Yes, that, that's yes, amazing. Yes. And I, I see that as a great sign. Whenever there's direct flights between, to, the, there's synergy there. There's a lot of direct flights between Melbourne and uh, and India uh, happening. Yes. And, and one system of Paul flight, is, is that, that's great for business. That will also reduce the price, right? Yeah, well, we, what we do, we, we can actually reserve, uh, we can reserve freight we can reserve space on the belly of those planes because what's happening is a lot of the planes are coming in full to australia and they're kind of leaving half empty with freight so yes. that's an opportunity to bring freight costs down you have worked in southeast asia the middle east and sark for almost 17 years how do warwick fabrics stay ahead in these regions great question uh, it's important to keep staying relevant to the market um, being innovative with new design and always uh, supported by great service and stock out of our Australian head office. Okay. Yep. Thank you very much. That's all right. All good. Thank you so much.